What's going on YouTube, Champion Productions here, and welcome back to another Transformers video review. And in today's video, I'll be reviewing the Transformers Studio Series Voyager Class Blitzwing. Starting this review off by taking a look at the packaging here on the front of the box here we got a picture of Blitzwing Studio Series 65 Bumblebee movie Blitzwing we got the Transformers logo here on the top we got Transformers Bumblebee on the bottom it's just warnings and stuff on the side we got an up close picture of Blitzwing Studio Series 65 it states that he is a Voyager class figure coming around to the other side we got the Autobot insignia and then we got a more full body um, picture of Blitzwing coming around to the back Big screen inspired, scale detail backdrop, and then uh, this is uh, based off the canyon attack scene. Then we got a picture of Blitzwing in his robot mode, jet mode that he converts in 25 steps, and that it says a Blitzwing silences Bumblebee, and that's really about it for the packaging. Now, as far as the backdrop is concerned, this is the canyon battle scene where we see Blitzwing and Bumblebee go head to head, and it's a pretty nice backdrop insert. We got 65 here on the side, Studio Series Bumblebee movie logo. So, there's the backdrop. Now, taking a look at Blitzwing's accessories, starting off with his uh, little knife spike hand weapon. This is what he uses to uh, rip out Bumblebee's voice box, and it has been molded very nicely. No paint applications on it, but still looks really good. You can see his fingers have been molded in, and you got his thumb molded there on the side. Very nice. Got little spikes, serrated edges here. Very nice. He comes with his machine gun which looks very nice and has been painted with a nice silver color. You got the two missiles there on the side. Detail has been done very nicely. So there you have his machine gun. He does come with for jet and robot mode. These two uh, um, fuel pods are for the jet. And it comes with two of them. He comes with his uh, instruction booklet which, if you've seen any of my reviews, you know how I feel about the dark purple on the dark gray on the lighter gray. It just doesn't work all that well. And then he does come with this warning sheet, which is just warnings and stuff. Yeet. And here we have Studio Series Blitzwing in his jet mode. Now, when this figure was first announced, I was so excited. I thought they absolutely nailed the design for Blitzwing in this movie. Granted, it's not 100% accurate to the cartoon, but I just thought they did a really good job with the design of Blitzwing's character. I really liked it. So when they announced this figure coming out in the Studio Series toy line, I was so excited. Now, bringing the jet in to take a closer look at it, as we can see, this isn't 110% accurate to the F4 Phantom 2 jet. Um, I think a lot of uh, what they did for the jet mode was sacrificed for the betterment of the robot mode. And if that is the case, then I am 110% behind that because the robot mode that we end up with is absolutely phenomenal looking. Now doing a quick 360 spin around of the jet mode, as you can see, has been done pretty nicely. Again, it's not the best transforming jet we have ever seen in the Transformers toy line, but you can still tell that it's a jet. It's got all the jet parts. It's got the tail fins here on the back. It's got wings. So, you know, it definitely looks like a jet. It's just not the best one we've ever seen in the Studio Series toy line. Now, taking a look at the details in jet mode, he has been nicely molded and painted. So, starting off here at the front of the nose cone, we got some nice panel line detailing got some nice paint up here on the top translucent orange plastic i really like that with some paint there going along the top the intakes have been painted nicely with some red and some grayish bluish color very nice got the uh, landing gear molded in the front there and that can fold up if you do want that to be folded up very nicely molded in detail got some more details up here and along the wings got some nice red paint for the striping along the wings there very nice now the back is sort of where things get a little bit weird from any angle really um you got these big sections hanging off the back here but you do have some landing gear molded into the back so there you have that the uh, wings right here these little tail fins they can fold together due to the transformation if you want to have that look uh, me personally since they weren't able to get the f4 phantom 2 look um, I just leave them like that. But coming around to the back here, we got some nice turbine detailing. Flipping it over to the underside, it's not the cleanest jet. 
it's <laughs> there's a lot going on uh but overall jet mode isn't bad looks good and definitely gets the job done now for some size comparisons let's bring in studio series deluxe class bumblebee so we can see how these two scale obviously the jet is way too small a Volkswagen Beetle would never be that large compared to a jet, or a jet would never be that small compared to a Beetle. So, there you have that comparison. Let's bring in Studio Series of Voyager Class Bumblebee Movie Optimus Prime. So you can see how these two scale side by side. Again, Blitzwing is way too small. But he is longer than Prime in truck mode. Um, and you can see Blitzwing in jet mode is longer than Prime. So, there we have that. And for a jet comparison, let's bring in Studio Series Voyager Class Starscream. So we can see how these two look side by side. And I mean, they don't look bad. Um, they look good side by side, a couple of jets. But you can see that Starscream in jet mode tidies up a lot better than Blitzwing. And he's even a little bit longer than Blitzwing in jet mode. So comparisons out of the way now moving on into the transformation for studio series blitzwing it is quite interesting and quite unique in my opinion so to start off with we're going to take the landing gear fold it up you can take these fuel cells or fuel pods here on the bottom and remove them they just tab into that little port it has a little peg just remove that on both sides now we're going to start off with taking the cockpit and rotating it around after we do that, we come around to these little sections here, and they will untab from the main wings, and then that will allow us to move these out of the way and pull this whole assembly up and unpeg it from the body. Now we can come around to the underside here and take this whole section here and fold it down just like so. Take this section on a double hinge and just fold that down out of the way for right now. Come down to the legs, untab them, rotate them around, and then take this uh, tail fin section here and fold it up and then that will allow you to bring the leg in on a hinge fold that back take the foot rotate it uh, to the side and then fold out his toes do that on both sides fold that up rotate fold it out just like that there we have the legs for blitzwing ready to go coming back up to the upper body here take the nose cone fold it down on a double hinge and that will tab in there's a tab right there and a tab hole that will tab in right there so just tab that into place now you're going to want to do this next step in this specific order or else it will not transform correctly simply take the shoulder and upper body assembly swing it up and then take the cockpit and open it up and then fold out his head and tab it into place there is a tab right here and a tab hole on the back of the nose cone or on the inside of the nose cone you can then plug that back into place raising the camera up you can now take his shoulders and slide that section down straighten them out get everything situated take his arms rotate them out and around and swing these little sections in fold his arms down and rotate his fists around do that for this side fold that around rotate his fist around just like so. Now coming along to the back of the wings here, you can take this section here, fold it up and around, and then just angle the wings however you want really. I like to take these, and you move these up, just like so to get that angled look. And then just tab, there are these two tabs, I'll tab in to these two tab holes right here. And then after all that, the final thing to do is simply take the fuel pods and tab them in. So these tabs here on the side, there's the peg. Tab that into place, just like so. Do that for both sides. And just like that, here we have Studio Series Blitzwing in his amazing looking robot mode. And the robot mode that we end up with for Studio Series Blitzwing looks fantastic. Giving you a quick 360 overview of the figure in robot mode, they could not have done any better with this figure. The only thing I kind of wish it could have tidied up a little bit better is this section here, but it's not bad at all. Overall, I think the robot mode cleans up very well, and it looks absolutely fantastic. 
Taking a look at the details and paint applications of the robot mode, starting at the feet, we can see the faux landing gears there in his toes. Very nice molded in detail on his feet. Moving our way up, there are no paint applications on the shins, unfortunately, but they are nicely molded and detailed. You can see the inside of his leg there has got some nice, what looks to be a vent detailing. Very nice. His knees have some nice molded in detail, and so do his thighs. Very nice. We still get these nicely painted red and gray sections here that carry over from jet mode. His arms have been nicely molded and detailed. These look just amazing. The sculpt work on that is very solid. No paint applications, unfortunately, except for on the side of the arms. We got some paint applications there, but... Very nice. The hands have been nicely molded and detailed. Moving our way up to the upper body and chest region of Blitzwing. This is uh, just amazing looking. The uh, way the chest comes together looks very nice. Unfortunately, they were not able to get the uh, this look without faux parts. Although, even though it is a faux section, this whole section right here is not actually a part of the cockpit. What they do is still looks very nice with the orange uh, paint. If there's anything I wish they did different is they try to, uh, it'd be nice if they would have used the same translucent plastic that they used on the cockpit. But nevertheless, it still looks really good and the paint applications have been applied very crisply and have been applied very well. Now taking a look at the head of Blitzwing here, this looks amazing. This is spot on to what we see in the movie. Um, they have painted it very nicely. We've even got a little bit of orange sections here. These little, um, these little pieces at the bottom with those little sections down there. They look very nice. The eyes have been painted a nice dark red. And the back of the head has actually been painted as well. We can see we have some more paint applications there. Overall, very nice. Some more paint here on the shoulders on the faux intakes of the jet. Coming around to the back, there's not a whole lot going on, but just giving you a quick overview. The robot mode for Blitzwing just looks amazing. In terms of installing his accessories for the machine gun here, I'm gonna plug it into this hand here. So simply take it and then there is a peg, there is a five millimeter port right here and a peg Right here, the port will plug into his hand, and the peg will plug into this port here on the arm. So just attach that like so, and then just have that into place there. And there we have him with his machine gun all mounted up. For the spike hand, we're simply going to take his hand. Now, both hands are removable for this feature, but just removing this hand here, it's on a 5mm peg. Setting that off to the side, we can then add on his spike hand, just like so, and that looks really good. The weapons and accessories and the way they come on just look really good and help get that transformed look. So the machine gun looks like it has been formed out of his arm, and the spike hand looks like it has transformed around his actual hand really nicely done. Now in terms of storing his accessories, what you can do is you can take the spike hand here, and there are a couple different options here. Uh, for the regular fist, it is on a five millimeter port, so if you're using the spike hand, you can plug it in to his wing. For the spike hand itself, it's got a little peg that'll plug in to this peg hole here on his back, just like so. And then for the machine gun, you can simply take this and tap it in to the back as well. So there we have his accessories stored on his back. Let's just add his regular hand back on. And they do store relatively well once you get them hidden in the back there. Take this, rotate it around, it hides itself away a little bit better. So his accessories hide away in robot mode very well. Now for the articulation. The articulation on this figure is pretty solid. Starting off with the head, the head can look down pretty far and can look up, so you can definitely have him on a flight stand reaching out to attack Bumblebee like he does in the beginning of the Bumblebee movie. He can go left to right and it can rotate 360 degrees thanks to the ball joint. 
Um, his wings at the base have a hinge so you can pose these however you really want and then these sections up here can move around like so. Moving the wings out of the way, you can rotate these shoulders full 360, but you do have to hold the chest down because if you don't, things just come untabbed because the only thing securing the chest are these two tabs here on the back that connect into these two tabs here or tables on the back of his shoulders. So that is kind of an annoying thing. It is what it is. It's not too bad. Uh, these little sections here are on a hinge so you can just move those however you want. There is a 360 rotation in the arm right above the elbow. He has a double jointed elbow so you got that and then his fist on the left hand does have a hinge in it so you can get some articulation with that and does have a 360 rotation due to the option of being able to remove his fist and put in the spike hand which is pretty cool but it, the spike hands more or less built for the right arm. Um, coming down to the lower body he actually does have a waist swivel, which is quite impressive. Uh, it is a minor, like, I mean a minor, little bit of motion, but he can swivel at the waist just a little bit. Again, very impressive. The legs, he can kick forward that far. Can't really kick back all that far. He has a thigh swivel. And a weird thing about this is that these flaps here can move out of the way, which doesn't really make any sense because they're not interfering with anything. I'm assuming it's just to allow room for the rotation so it's not molded in and pressing against the the plastic. I'm not really sure why they added that in, um, but it's there. Uh, he has a knee bend and has an ankle tilt. So overall, the articulation on this figure is solid and everything you really need to get him in some dynamic poses. Now for some size comparisons, let's bring in Studio Series Deluxe Class Bumblebee. And I think these two scale really well side by side. I think they look good. Let's bring in Transformers Studio Series Voyager Class Bumblebee Movie Optimus Prime. And the scaling here isn't bad. Um, I feel like they look good side by side. And for a uh, movie verse bay verse size comparison, let's bring in Studio Series Voyager Class Starscream. Now, Starscream is considerably taller than Blitzwing in robot mode, but... There you have that. So is Studio Series Blitzwing a good figure? Absolutely. And do I recommend him? Yeah. There are a couple of minor flaws with my figure. Like there are a couple of paint uh, bleeds and there are a few areas where the paint hasn't been done 100% perfectly and even with the flaws this figure does have even though the jet mode isn't 100% accurate to the jet we see in the movie it is still a really good transformable rendition of Blitzwing. 3A has their own non-transformable statue out and that looks absolutely phenomenal but this is a transformable mass retail figure and I really don't think that they could pull us off any better again in the transformable format. It looks great in robot mode and the jet mode is pretty decent as a unique and interesting transformation and just overall is really well articulated and really good looking and it comes with all the accessories you really need to pull off any cool poses but that's all for me i hope you enjoyed if so be sure to leave a like comment what you think of studio series blitzwing in the comment section below and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel that's all for me champion production signing off